We're here at the Wine Business Monthly Bottle Bash, and I'm with Gary McKibben from Red Caboose Winery, and we're going to taste some Tempranillo. Gary, can you tell me about the Tempranillo? How did you make it? We're, we're really in, in love, basically, with this grape. Tempranillo grows very well in Texas, and uh, we uh, just give the vines tender, loving care. We make the wine in the old world fashion. We uh, basically pick the cream of the crop, we add yeast, and pretty much it's temperature and time management after that. Occasionally we'll do adjustments, but uh, typically we'll just go with the grapes and what nature gave us. When did you know Tempranillo was going to do well in Texas? Well, it's, it's kind of funny. I, I didn't uh, know of the grape until about a year before I started all this. I had a, a friend introduce me to a Tempranillo, and uh, I fell in love with the taste, the flavor, the characteristics of it. And then about a year or so later when we decided to do the vineyard, I uh, researched it a little bit more and decided that it would be a wonderful candidate for our terroir in, in Texas. And it's a, uh, basically a, a hot weather Mediterranean varietal that does very well in Texas, loves the heat. Uh, in the vineyard, it, uh, if I could say a grape maintains itself of the 13 varietals that we do grow, this is one of the easiest ones to take care of. Our Tempranillo now is uh, going into its 10th year and we're having, a, we're having reasonably good success with it and excellent success with our, our blending. My son, the, the winemaker, Evan, is, uh, really enjoys blending and coming up with some new, new varietal blends with the Tempranillo. I understand there's a big emphasis on sustainability at your wine. We're really big into biodynamics. We, uh, we're sustainable. We generate all of our own electricity. We're 100% geothermal. In fact, I built a piece of equipment that cold stabilizes our white wine with geothermal ground source. And it's, it's working very, very well. Uh, we, we compost all of our winery waste and we have a four year process of composting. That works out real well. We also harvest all the rainwater that hits the building. We've been doing that for about 10 years now and it's been uh, very helpful in our irrigation. We are gravity, our entire winery is gravity from the rainwater or from the roof and transferring of wine. We like, to, we like to transfer our wine by gravity whenever we can as opposed to pumping it. We blend our Tempranillo a lot with uh, Lenoir, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, we blended it with the Malbec, Syrah. It seems to be a grape that blends very well with the other red varietals from our vineyard.